Hello guys, I hope you're all keeping well. Thank you very much for tuning into my channel. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. And uh, for this one, I've got another beer that I picked up of Beers of Europe, and we're traveling to Portugal for this one. And uh, we're gonna try Superbock Abadia, is it uh, Abadia? Probably butchering that. But, um, I can only give it my best go. Reading's not really my strong point, as you can probably tell if you're a regular viewer of the channel. <laughs> uh, bottle cap. What else? Super Bock bottle cap there. Um, nice brand bottle, 330 CL bottle. This one, to say from Beers of Europe, I think it was like 179. I can't remember for sure on that one, but yeah, I think it was close to the two quid mark. Uh, yeah, got a strength to it. This one, 6.4% ABV. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, very strong. It's a uh, um, Hellez slash Bock style lager, I believe. And um, it'll be my first time trying one, so I'm quite interested to uh, see what it's got to offer. I have tried Super Bock, the one you get in the UK, that's like 4.7%. Um, yeah, but uh, this one's a whole different story, isn't it? So uh, let's crack her open and uh, begin the review. Yeah, you have to let me know, guys, if you've tried this one, perhaps I was on holiday in Portugal or something like that. Um, I'm not sure if you can get it in the UK apart from Beers of Europe or perhaps like some other website similar. Um, but yeah, let me know if you've tried it and let me know if you rated it or not and um, what you think of it. That's a very interesting colour, isn't it, for a lager? It's, uh, wow, kind of like a coppery, amberish colour for me. We've got a small tanned head there. <laughs> Quite a good levels of carbonation considering it's 6.4 percent abv and you know, it tends to you tend to get less carbonation with the high abv beers there you go so you know quite a respectable man very interesting color right uh good clarity to it as well actually nice and clear all right let's give it a whiff and check out the aromas hmm Got like a fruit, a slight fruit cake sort of aroma to it. Getting sort of like prunes and like a sticky sort of sweet orange aroma from this. And some like caramelized malts. It's got quite a sweet uh, malty smell about it, this beer. Little touch of alcohol as well. Like a sort of spirit alcohol in it. It don't smell bad, actually. It definitely doesn't smell like your typical lager. Uh, if, in fact, Bock is even a lager. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that, guys. You have to murder me in the comments if, if I'm wrong. But, um, yeah, it smells quite interesting. Uh, anyway, let's go for the taste. Cheers, everybody. Or salute if you're uh, Portuguese. Bosh. Let's get it down the neck. Mm. I'm a bit disappointed. I was, I was I was expecting a bit more to be honest. Um, it's sort of medium bodied. Yeah, I, it's not great. It's not great for me, in my opinion. Let me go again. I think. The reason I'm saying it's not great is definitely the sweetness. It's very sugary sweetness about this beer. Um, got like a very heavy malt presence, like car caramelized malts for me. I'm not sure if the sweetness is coming for that, but it actually tastes like really sugary. Like they might have added some syrup or even sugar to this beer for me. It's quite a sweet sort of medium to high level of sweetness on this beer for me. And, uh, I really don't do sweet beer, as you may know. It's uh, quite rare for me to find a sweet beer that I like. And uh, it's not this. It's not this for sure. <laughs> impressions anyway, guys. I've got to be honest. Um, it's not really my thing. 
kind of reminds me a little bit of like a Leff or something like that, like an Abbey beer, but like a kind of watery, watered down version of it or something. It's, um, yeah, there's something a bit watery feeling about the mouthfeel. Definitely got like a fruity, fruitiness about it in the background. It does remind me of like fruit cake, like kind of like a pruny, raisiny sort of taste with a little bit of orange peel. You know, like sort of fruits, a like blend of the sort of fruits that you get in them fruit cakes. There is that in the background, but it's not very pleasant. It's not very pleasant at all, and it's, there's not much of it either, really. But what there is is quite sweet. But I can taste the sugar more than the fruit cake itself. So that's a bit of a bit of an issue for me, I think, with this one. <laughs> it is very, it is very sweet. Too much for me. Definitely too sweet for me. Got a dryness about it as well towards the end, and kind of drying my tongue out a little bit. It's not, it's not a nice dryness. I do quite like a dryness to my um, beers, but yeah, this one's a bit like, yeah. <laughs> Your tongue's going a bit dry. Yeah, I, I don't know why I thought this was going to be good, but for me, it's, it's not. It's just not good. No real bitterness on the end or anything. A bit of an unmemorable beer, really. No real standout. It's just a very sweet, light-tasting beer. Um, you can taste the alcohol a bit as well, but you know, I suppose you could say it's quite easy drinking for the ABV, but... I'd find it a lot easier drinking if I liked it, to be honest. And it weren't so sweet. Uh, nothing special at all for me. Nothing special at all. I, I certainly wouldn't buy it again. Um, I'll, I'll manage to drink this one. It's not like terribly bad or nothing like that. Um, I'm just disappointed because I was expecting a lot more flavour, a lot more different flavours going on. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just really simple tasting crap beer, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, this particular version of the old Superbock is not for the beer monster. Yeah, but let me know if you think different, guys, because, you know, of course we're all different. And I don't really like sweet beers. So if you're a sweet beer lover and you do like this... Let, people, let me know in the comments, you know, people can read it that perhaps like sweet beers. This could just be a personal thing. But, you know, even with a lot of the sweet beers, I can try them and I can say, like, well, that's a really good beer, but it's not for me, like, sweetness levels are too high. But I appreciate the beer still, for being, like, being a good beer sort of thing. But I don't even think this is a good beer, really. It's, it's not awful beer. It's, it's not even average beer for me. It's, like, below average, I would say. get out of the way <laughs> yeah average beers i would give a seven but this one i'm going to go for like five and a half definitely not a bit of me uh, thanks for tuning in guys i hope you have enjoyed this review if you have done smash the like button check out some more of my other content and uh, if you like consider subscribing to the channel it would be much appreciated and uh, until next one guys bye bye darlings <laughs>